Well, it's part of prison life that some say has been ignored. 20% of inmates face mental health issues, often keeping them in a revolving door of crime. But Sarpy County hopes to close that door with a mental health diversion program. WWT 6 News' Jenna Janes spoke with one woman who says the program saved her life. Like I was totally out of my mind and out of my normal self. This woman, we're calling her Rita, says that's life with bipolar disorder. It means she doesn't always think clearly, like when she got behind the wheel drunk. Strange because I'm the girl that is like, if anybody has like a beer, I'm like, no, I'll drive. Sarpy County officers pulled her over for a DUI. At the end of her rope, she couldn't see she needed help. Deputies could. I was kind of just ready to die. I didn't, you know, I almost didn't care anymore. And they ended up taking me to the hospital. Two weeks later, this man entered her life and maybe saved it. Dean Loftus runs the mental health diversion program in Sarpy County. It helps those with mental illness get set on a better path. It also helps dismiss nonviolent crimes from their record. Jail is not a good place for someone with a mental health issue, with a mental illness. But the program isn't letting anyone off easy. This program is voluntary and we don't take anyone by the hand and, and make them do anything. Clients are empowered to create their own success. That means they have to follow strict guidelines like going to regular therapy sessions. Those therapists then report back to Loftus. They also have to stay on their meds and there's no alcohol or street drugs. Our top concern is public safety. Deputy County Attorney Pete Purse helps decide who's in and who's out. He says convicted killers like Nico Jenkins would never qualify, but he does believe getting help to people early can stop more serious crimes down the road. The whole idea is to get to individuals with serious mental illness at a point in time when we're dealing with low-level nonviolent crimes. Loftus says it's working for clients like Rita. She's a rock star. I've seen her become more positive, more happy. And for her, it means a second chance and a clearer mind. Think about the drinking and driving and to the point where that feels completely out of my mind to me again. I feel back to that person who doesn't let anyone drive even if they've only had one beer <laughs> type person. In Sarpy County, Jenna Janes, WOWT 6 News. Well, since its start last year, the program's helped about 60 people. Advisors tell us the program has been a huge success.